Moana. Make way. way make way. Moana is <laughs> that you do. Your village of what to do is all you need. The dancers are practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of my best friends and makeup artist extraordinaire, Caroline Gonzalez, Hi. showing us how to do beautiful contour. I forecast that for the coming year, that skin is gonna be back. Skin is in. Which doesn't really mean that you just have to be bare faced. You can still sculpt your face, blend it seamlessly, and it looks like it's just really yours. What I call it is the secret contour. It's really easy. You can either wear this out, or if you want more drama, this is a good base to start with. And you're gonna learn also my tricks for brows, for plucking brows without over plucking. The contoured lips that are Carolina's specialty. Brows, cheeks, everything. Bam. Okay, so we are gonna start my face today with some gorgeous brows. We already prepped the skin, an eye mask, moisturizer, and now we're doing brows. So that we don't pluck any wanted hair. What I like to do is always just fill in the brow first and then I just pluck around it so you can never make that mistake. And of course we're doing it with the YSL. Gorgeous. Brow pencil. We're going darker than what I normally would go for a natural brow, but I just can't afford to pluck anything I want to keep. And I think that's a mistake that a lot of people are really scared of like doing their own brows. So just a few wrong hairs can make such a difference. Right. Like, oh, done f up. <laughs> <laughs> And this is just goof proof. So I do pluck underneath and a couple up top. When someone's in my chair, I can't help but to like trim them. Like yeah. sometimes I'm like, who did you before? Like you have these hairs there and they make such a difference, it especially does make on the such carpet. A difference. Especially the end. Clean. I love extending mine a little. If the end isn't plucked properly, it just doesn't. Yeah. Even if I'm at home alone, I'll do it. Ooh, ooh, just a little. You can hear them. You can hear it? Yeah, I like every pluck. You gotta hear them on the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> There's always these little hairs here that everyone misses. They create like shadows. Well, I mean, I always wait for you to do my brows. I'm like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina can do your face where it's like looks retouched already. Sneaky, gorgeous skin with some contour, but yeah. still... It's, like, it's a it's like secret contour. Secret contour. I patent secret contour. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Belongs Carolina Gonzalez. Dr. Gonzalez <laughs> is in the house Dr. today. Dr. Gonzalez. Carolina does my makeup. I'm like, I'm gonna get 30 days worth of selfies. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and then I'll post them throughout the year. So this side is done. So maybe this one could be a do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one. Yeah, do-do-do-do. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Just look at the light, look at the light. It's gone. When your eyebrows are getting tweezed, do you sneeze? Is this only me or do you sneeze too? I have like a sneeze attack. Do any of you know why you sneeze? Maybe it's like connected to a nerve or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. Dr. Gonzalez is in the house Dr. today. Dr. Gonzalez. And there you go, brows. Gorgeous. Gorgeous brows by Carolina. I feel like people are so fascinated with contour and how to do it and make it look natural. Sometimes people think you need to like yeah. pack it all on to have a contoured yeah. face, but you really don't. So I can appreciate a Me full too. beat. Me too. Let's not get it twisted. She can do the best full beat. <laughs> the key is always to blend. Like blend. blend as you go. I'm gonna share my tips with you. What we're gonna do is add some moisture. We're in the winter weather. You've had colds, you're, you know, constantly blowing your nose. Sometimes I'll even like exfoliate like around my nose That's and good. everything and then put the moisturizer on so it's like a really clean surface. So, and I say so a lot, damn it. So, so, so. so today. Tell me, girl. <laughs> Don't mind my accent from Long Island. Oh, we're gonna have the craziest <laughs> accents by the end of these tutorials. I always get like an Italiano, my Italian roots Italian. come out. We're in Nashville, girl. We're in Nashville, I'm gonna start saying y'all. <laughs> we're being very serious to how our, our beauty chair normally is. Right? <laughs> I like 101 skin that lacks celestial diamond creams. Very rich. I love a rich moisturizer, a moisture highlight. For me too, I prefer creamy everything because I feel like it doesn't age me as much. I feel like sometimes powder, especially around my eyes, can be more aging. It bring it out. And you know, I'm still only 12, so. That's right, girl. <laughs> We're Peter Pan. We're young forever. I like. I feel it. like I graduated high school me yesterday. Too? Oh I God. still have nightmares of high school. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 
enough credits to graduate. Totally. Oh, my, oh no. my daughter, her favorite thing right now, she likes me to tell her stories of like my high school days. She likes to know my embarrassing stories. Like she does. What she specifically asked for. Because I've had, I have some good like embarrassing high school stories. Oh my god, I love these ones. The shishado yes. sticks. And this is also another trick that I love that you have to share is like you always put a serum. I always put a serum. One of the serums that I, I really love from Walter Oval. Oh, beautiful. And he came out with this oil, super clean, super yeah. natural, no fragrance. So you like to put the oil so that the sticks become more blendable, is that right? Right. Okay. Put it on like a nice palette. Mm -hmm. Clean it first, of course, with alcohol. And then I just soak my sponge and I just tap away. Mm -hmm. Tap on my hand and I just tap it onto her skin. It helps it look more translucent a little. Absolutely. You have more control with how much coverage you want. I like to use my fingers. I mix my fingers, brushes, sponges. Fingers, I, I like to feel yeah. how much I'm putting on. And if I'm going more for a beat or if I'm blending, I use a sponge. Full beat, you just like spackle it on. <laughs> Get it go on to the town. Gear. Might give like a little more coverage there. A little extra love. Mm -hmm. This mom needs all the extra love under the eyes. You we know. All do when you're <laughs> Girl, do I know? If I need to cover something, it's usually like under my eyes and around my nose. Always where there's redness. Around yeah. the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth. Yeah. And ears. Ears. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. I mean, there are worse things, but <laughs> there could be way worse things. But it's not ideal to have a gorgeous secret contoured face. Everything else is perfect, and you perfect. have these red tips. Red tips. Red tips. Sometimes when you do concealer, one of my pet peeves is when it's just so white. Yeah. And it just screams, I have a ton of makeup on my face. Yeah. So to put the blood back in, mm -hmm. I go in with a peachy cream blush. I like the one from Laura Mercy, the cream color. It's matte, it has no sparkles in it. I tap into the blush, I tap into whatever I'm using as concealer, and just automatically puts the blood back in. Sneaky. Yeah, I can't stand if I look on a picture of a red carpet and like it looks like super white here, here. It just looks like makeup. I'm like, yeah. what's the point? Yeah, or it either looks like you were sunbathing mm -hmm. and you had those like those little goggle things. Goggles. No, yeah. thank you. You just look real well rested. So again, no one's just one color. So we're gonna mix a couple more. Clay de Peau. Yeah, that's my go-to. Concealer, mm -hmm. love. It's a good investment. It's expensive, for, but, but it lasts, lasts forever. A long time. Like you, yeah. I have had mine for like years. You don't need a lot. So what we're doing is still going over with the Shiseido. I'm going over with my fingers. I use my ring finger because it just really fits in all the crevices. And also, you don't tend to go heavy As with heavy. your ring finger. If I use my middle, it's a different stronger. thing. How I use the cream blush, I'm also gonna use it around the mouth. The concealer ring around yeah. the mouth. Again, on the lids, I'm adding a little bit of the blush. I already look so much better than I did when I woke up. <laughs> of course, we can't forget about the neck. You cannot forget <laughs> ever. about the neck, ever. For those big areas like that, I use a sponge. You're not like- Even a brush. Ring finger of my whole Yeah, no, imagine. <laughs> and now I'll just use the whole hand. I'll yeah. just do this and I'll be like, bam. It's cold. It's very cold. <laughs> Let it go. Let, let it go. go. <laughs> so we're taking the redness out of our right. ears. Oh, we're doing a tutorial. <laughs> I use the yellow concealer again just to cancel the red. Mm -hmm. So yellow concealer Lightly. on ears. A pimple. If I just tweezed a pimple, depending on the pimple color. Mm -hmm. If it's very red, then I'll put a little bit of yellow with concealer. But if it's kind of purple, because some people have a little on the more purple side, yeah. then that's when I do the cream blush. Mm -hmm and the concealer, but it definitely cannot just be concealer. Right, Yeah. because then you can just see the spot when you see it. Yeah. That was just the face, getting the face ready for our, now the contour. Mm -hmm. And even if you can see before and after, like even though I still look so natural, it's better. <laughs> she's crazy, she's crazy. Because even if we stopped here, I'd be like, oh, I look gorgeous for the day for my like, life. So we're going to begin contouring. This is my brand new fave. It's from the Westman Atelier. Color Biscuit Contour Stick. And it's Love. creamy, it's matte, it's gorgeous. I always like to mix with serum and with using the sponge, it just blends as you go. Tap it on the serum, tap it on the stick. And then I just follow where Lily's cheekbone is. So I kind of get like right underneath the cheekbone and a little over her cheek. I just tap in, like you can feel the mm -hmm. cheekbone. And then I use the whole sponge and I just blend as I go and I work it up to the ear and then the hair. You wanna work it into the hair. Okay, so it looks natural? So it looks natural. Sneaky. I do the whole hairline, burn it into the hairline. That's yeah. an old term. You don't wanna see a line 
And what kind of colors do you like for contour? Do you like more bronzy, more taupey? I more like taupey because taupey. if you're thinking about contours of the face, the shadows of your face are more on the taupier side. They're yeah. not warm. Brown. Right. It's very mm -hmm. tricky. There's very few products out there that are An actual real yeah. contour. Yes. And this is really goof proof. So I go under the jawline just to scope that and underneath and I just also blend that into the neck. I will also go in her crease. That's one of my favorite places to contour. Give it such depth. So we're doing half of the face so that way you guys can see the difference. We love to do a little bit of a nose contour. Mm -hmm. The sponges I feel are key. Precise, but it's also just mimics the skin. Yeah. Texture. I will go back in there with a little bit of concealer just down the bridge. Just so you don't see the line of where I contour. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be like, oh, okay, I contoured my nose. It's like, oh. <laughs> And then I'll be like, oh, she contoured her nose. Now I'll move into a little bit of a lip just to make it look like it's naturally fuller, poutier. Whenever I used to see her, we'd be doing a shoot and they'd be like, oh, we're going to do natural day. I'm like, don't. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want full lip? Right now, yeah. we're going to go with subtle mm -hmm. and then we'll take it to major. So I like to just follow right underneath where your natural shadows would be. And with a brush, I also blend it outward. And the same color. The same color. And will you go over my lip line? Right over. Mm -hmm. Like you have the invisible line, so mm -hmm. it's kind of on there. I'm just strengthening your natural shadow. In this case, I think I might need to go a little bit deeper. So here we're going with contour to go. So it's contour one, two, and three. So I'm doing one and two. Okay. I'm just going to go a little bit deeper. So the deeper, I just get really under. And then buff it out. I like to start light and then go deeper. So that way kind of ombres. Darker towards the middle and buff it out. Yeah. And it's all about the build. Yeah. I'm going with the darker on the lip. So it's kind of like how you would use liner, but we're making it a fuzzier line. Do you want it to be like, is that a shadow? Is that her, her lips are so gorgeous? Absolutely. So now I'll take a brush with nothing on it and just blend. It's so cold your lips are turning purple. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lip color. Give me some lip. <laughs> Here we go. She back. We go. She back. She back. Back. So the last step, make sure the edges are just blended in. We don't want to see where the contour starts or begins. Same thing. <laughs> we don't want to see where it starts or begins. So what I like to do is take the sponge and just blend. And there you go. The secret contour mm -hmm. is real. All right, let's do the other side. Let's turn the heat full blast. Lips. So Carolina's so good at doing this. There's times in my Instagram where people have been like, Lily <laughs> got her lips done. She's gotten surgery. <laughs> when, where Dr. Gonzalez came into play. She's so good at the sneaky contour. Literally just accentuating the shadows of your lips. Would you it's say just... that this is one of your most requested things that people ask you to do? Yes. I can't tell you how many of us backstage at the Victoria's Secret show FaceTimed <laughs> Carolina. All right, girl, what do I do? <laughs> so just to punch it up a little bit and give her a little more sun kiss. I'm going in with this YSL mm -hmm. lip and cheek. Ooh, gorge. It's a number five with my sponge. Just tap it on. I like to do circular motions because it just blends it out. Give her a little dab here, a little dab on the chin, a little bit on the lids. Yeah, that's how I am. If I'm yeah. doing like a highlighter, I like it a little on my eyes, a little on my lip, a little on my nose. Because it says cheek doesn't mean it can only go on yeah, your cheeks. cheeks. It just ties everything together. Yeah. On the lip, mm -hmm. we did Wall Creep by NARS. Yes, we love this I color. love the pencils. So I put it on my finger, pout, tap. I want them to be just like a couple shades, just like if she was just biting her lips. Dab on the cheek, the excess, dab on the cheek, the excess, chin, mm -hmm. forehead, nose, eyes. This is like the dream makeup, no makeup. Yeah. Makeup, no makeup. Heavy natural. Heavy natural. <laughs> With the brows, brush them again. Fill in the spaces and just the direction of the hair. So she has this little space here. I'm gonna just fill it with the same like stroke. And I always like this look for brows because I just think it keeps it like modern and fresh. I always am more careful with the inner part of the brow because it could scream makeup mm -hmm. if you go in too heavy. When I do my brows, I do that and then I make sure I brush them a few times. Mm -hmm. They start looking fluffier and exactly. more natural. Exactly, just like I'm doing on this corner. That's just my preference. Mine too. And that's the thing about makeup, it's all preference. Exactly. I curl the tips first mm -hmm. for a natural curl versus that kind of L shape where it just right. kind of goes up. Sticking up. Tips first and then the root. That is a good trick that I've never heard before. Well, Giving us all the secrets. A trick of mine. Yes. 
tell me. To keep the curl. Because mm -hmm. sometimes they're on mascara yeah. and they just come down again. Yeah. What I do is I do a super light coat of waterproof mascara. Oh. It acts as hairspray, mm -hmm. so it keeps the curl yeah. in your lash. One of my, um, my go-tos is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. I let that dry and then I go in with my whichever mascara you prefer. Amazing. And it just keeps the shape. This is also what I use on bottom lashes for red carpets because sometimes if it's a humid location, it can easily just melt on the bottom of your of Which your is eyes. the worst. You, do you don't want that like smeary. Ever. I know. Okay, so we got individuals. We got individuals. Just to complete the look. So I like to just mix lengths. Mm -hmm. I'm using the Kiss individual lashes, I have medium and short, weave it in. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to lay right on top sometimes because then they'll just turn all crazy directions. Mm -hmm. Like that one right there. <laughs> I mean, there's always one lash that loves to flip. I always prefer an individual lash. They're less detectable. I mean, Caroline has done my eyelashes. Three days later, I find like one that she has so <laughs> sneakily put into my hairline that I couldn't see it. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow, it looks so good. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's yeah, just it's a... key just to like weave that in. It's... We do it more in the middle, right? So they get mm -hmm. bigger. More doll-like. More doll-like. Doll Whereas if you, we were to put them on the end, my eye goes really cat eye. Yeah. If it's like bigger on the end. You might have to turn this way because I keep forgetting yeah. about it right in front of it. <laughs> it's okay because I'm going to hit this one. <laughs> so we're just going to dab on a little bit of powder. Like slight dab underneath the eye, like in mm -hmm. this area. Mm -hmm. Around the nose, T-zone. Yeah. T-zone. And that's where I get oily. Keeps it a little bit matter and then keep the cheeks highlighted. Yes. Voila! Voila. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going? Let's go out. Moms, we're going out. We're going These out. Moms are going moms. out. It's so pretty! It's so pretty! And this is a great base to continue on. So if you wanted to do more, this is a beautiful base to start your makeup look. Absolutely. Or you could just go out like this and people will be like, what is your secret? If you guys have any questions, comment down below. What would you like to see next? What do you want to see me and Carolina do? Because we want to make we you happy. So There's, so, There's much so much to do. I know the possibilities <laughs> are endless. So like and subscribe, comment down below. We love you. I heard that the highest grossing person on YouTube this year was an eight-year-old. What? Uh -huh. Talking about what? Twenty-six really? million dollars. I'm not sure. They made twenty-six million dollars. We gotta Girl. get our video on. <laughs> <laughs>